This one's been sitting in my queue for a long time. I've had a lot of requests for it, and I just haven't had a chance to do it. Boy, I've got too much on my plate lately, let me tell you. <sighs> That's okay. Get excited, because we are looking at PC Linux OS right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. This is your quick look at PC Linux OS. One thing I noticed uh, about this distribution is it comes with almost all the drivers you'll ever need. So depending, you know, it doesn't matter what hardware you're running, it should have a graphics adapter and everything that will work great for you. Now I downloaded the KDE version, but you can also get this in LXDE flavors and uh, other flavors uh, if you visit their website. They also have the Full Monty, which gives you the whole ball of wax. I just decided to get the CD version and do a quick look at this. Okay, now, uh, like any other KDE distribution, on the upper right you have an icon here which will lack actually allow you to uh, add new activities. You can also uh, add new widgets and that sort of thing. Okay, and then down here on the lower right, you have your date and time plus calendar that you can quickly access. All right, you can show hidden icons. You have a volume control, clipboard manager, network, and then of course uh, notifications and jobs. One thing that I thought though was really nice about neat about this RPM-based distribution is the fact that it does come preloaded with the Synaptic Package Manager, making loading and unloading files a snap for you. You have two desktops to choose from. You get the Dolphin File Manager. Uh, this is that Synaptic Package Manager that I was talking about. You can also configure your computer here, and you can configure your desktop. Notably, there are tons of screensavers that comes with this that I noticed, but it only had just the one wallpaper, which surprised me. Okay, you also get the console terminal, and then this icon will minimize all windows and show you your desktop. As you can see on the desktop, you have a number of applications to choose from here, and uh, I'll cover all those as we're going through the menu. All right, first, under more applications, uh, under configuration, you get the ATI Catalyst Control Center. Obviously, as I said, you have all the codecs and everything that come preloaded with this, which is probably why it's a little bit bloated and slow. You can configure your computer, configure your desktop, configure your printer, firewall setup. There's an install link, which is also on the desktop, K-Wallet Manager, Libre Office Manager, Localization Manager, Network Center, NTFS, Control Tool, PC Linux, OS Live USB Creator. Great if you just want to install this to a flash drive and take it with you on the go. Plus, I also have Redo MBR. Great for those of you who uh, did like I did several years ago and wiped out my MBR and I was able to actually repair it using a live CD. So good that they included this. Okay, and then of course in finances is the K My Money. You get uh, Net Applet and System Monitor and Monitoring Printing. You have the HP Device Manager, which interesting enough Interestingly enough, uh, HP uh, has wonderful support for Linux. You get console and Xterm uh, for your terminals. Okay, you get uh, Arc uh, in archiving, and you get the K3B disk burning. Probably the best disk burner you're going to get. All right, in documentation, uh, this is very important. You get the K-Info Center, and then you get the PC Linux OS documentation portal. So if you have any questions about this operating system, you can look through there and quickly find the answers that you're looking for. In editors, you get the K-Write text editor and file tools. You get BleachBit. Awesome tool. Great for keeping your system clean. You can run that as root or as a regular user. You get Dolphin File Manager, Find Files and Folders. It even includes the older Conqueror File Manager, and then you can run that in super user mode if necessary. Plus the, plus the Midnight Commander. In graphics, of course, you get the GAMP. That's right. You get Digicam, Gwenview, K-Snapshot, Ocular, and X-Sane Scanning. In Internet, you get a plethora of things. You get uh, Chukwok. A microblogging client, Dropbox, Firefox, Knet Attach, Conqueror, uh, which is similar to Internet Explorer. You get KPVP, KTorrent for all of you SOPA lovers out there who are downloading legal torrents, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, and you also uh, get Pigeon Internet Messaging, SMB 4K, Thunderbird Email, UMTS Mon, and XChat IRC. If you're looking for answers and you need to sp speak with a live person, XChat IRC is a good place to go. Okay, in Office, you get KCalc, 
LibreOffice Manager, and then of course the Ocular Document Viewer. In Software Center, you get Duke Clean GUI, LibreOffice Manager, Synaptic Package Manager, and Sound. You get the Clementine Music Player, KMix Sound Mixer, and KSCD CD Player. In Video, you get Imagination, a DVD slideshow maker. Great for putting together those wedding albums and the baby pictures and all that stuff and putting it on the DVD. Wonderful idea. You also get the TV Time Television Viewer. I happen to use this program myself. It is the best. Good they decided to include this. So if you have a USB a television device or a PCI capture card on your box, all you need to do is just run this program. It'll access it and it's probably the easiest TV television viewer that I found out there. So very good that they decided to include this. You also get the wonderful VLC Media Player. And then of course you get a quick link to all your favorites recently used and a run pro run command all in all this does look like a very user-friendly distribution there's a lot of customizations you can do with this it comes with tons of screen savers i just wish it came with a few more wallpapers to choose from but that's okay you can easily go on deviantart and download them if you thought this if you thought this review was useful please comment and subscribe google plus facebook and twitter will keep you up to date every time i send a new video to my channel also i'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please send me a private message. I'll try my best to answer your questions as quickly as I can. And if I don't know the answer, at least I'll try and point you in the right direction. I'd like to thank you for all of your comments and everything, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.